Howdy guys, Vintendo here, and today guys I'm going to give you another uh, tap-in video. So today I'm working on, I'm going to showcase uh, an Ouroboros deck I did on one video before, that I was testing out. This time I've actually got a finalized version of this deck, and I'm going to go through with you what I've basically come to now. So, uh, this um, Ouroboros Wesker deck is all about basically getting your Devil Joe to the graveyard, all your Tyrants, depending, and just getting them back to the field because they're such big heavy beaters and you know they do a lot of damage. So to do that, we use False Thrones. It sends one unit in your deck with the highest MP cost of the graveyard. Easy, get Devil Joe to the graveyard. And we use Ouroboros' ability, which is summons the highest MP unit in your graveyard. So that's the idea of the deck. So we, the other options we have is also Rebirth, which gives a random unit in your graveyard, minus one, minus one, but it places it on the field. So Devil Joe will come back as a 5-7, uh, which is still good. Not a big problem, still good. It's still a threat. Supporting with this, we've got two Possessing Malice, which sends a unit to the graveyard, then returns it to the same board slot, and deals damage to your hero equal to the unit's MP cost. So basically, um, you can use this on your O's, on your monsters, or your opponents if you want to reset a monster. So it's good either way, you just got to take into account the MP cost. We have Mr. X's, uh, just because, you know, when they die, we'll get Super Tyrant X, and we use Mad Massacre, you sort of just like the card to sort of destroy quickly enough to deal five damage, and then we get Super Tyrant to the field. We run, obviously, Spreading Infection, which is because Spreading Infection, because it's good. There are six destructive cards in here, three destructive instincts, which is where you take damage equal to the monster's attack when you destroy it, and, sit, and then three obliterations. Followed by a living death, which I've still yet to use, or haven't come across the plan to utilize it properly. A forced revival for another return, but I've yet to use this card as well. And a selfish perdition, or two of them, because, you know, destroy, say, Mr. X, to get some life back, and you get your super tyrant. So either way, it works out. So without further ado, I'll show you guys uh, some replays of some games I did, um, and yeah, let's do that. So our first matchup is against a Spike Launch Nergigante. Obviously when I played this, I completely forgot that he was a Spike Launch until it happened. I was like, oh, right, okay, well, now I know. So he starts off with um, the Snake, Great Gyros. I decide to basically, I th think I'm wait. I'll let three damage hit me. He's actually going to buff it, so in this situation I destroy it, because I've got two destructive instincts in my hand, so... You can destroy the card. So that is all the sacrificing damage that he actually took this entire game. Just right there, that's it. He took, he sacrificed six life and that was it. Uh, well, for spike launch, and then he does sacrifice, but we'll, we'll see what happens towards the end. So now uh, that that remove the threat, I think I'm going to go summon Devil Show because it's in my hand. Mm, I don't really want to. I don't want it in my hand. So, drop it. I draw into another one. Not exactly the greatest thing. He drops a Nemesis to counter my Devil Show. So I'm like, okay, Nemesis. Problem is, Nemesis is going to keep coming back. So I just got to deal with that shit. He drops Mr. X. So I'm like, okay. So he'll get the Tyrant. Um, I dropped my second Devil Joe because I might as well get rid of these cards in my hand. Make sure they're in the graveyards for Ouroboros because right now I have nothing in my graveyard and I'm very close to getting Ouroboros ready. Mr. X is back. He activates his ability. He does only six damage. He takes out one of the cards and I'm not too fast about uh, Mr. X hitting me for two damage. So it's not a big deal to me. So I continue to let my mana increase. And then I'm going to go for a play. I think I'm just going to uh, trigger Mr. X to get into his other form. He brings back Nemesis the third time. He really doesn't like the fact that I got Devil Show. So he's just like, he needs to play something to get rid of my Devil Show. That's all he's really trying to do. So I just bring back my other Devil Show. And now I just attack him for six there. So now I've got, I have drew into both my destruction cards after that happened. So I'm going to destroy both his cards on the field. He sacrifices two to play a card which is going to be his downfall. So I get rid of his field completely this turn, this get move. I take five damage. He gets a Bishop onto the field. He realizes he can't stop my Devil Joe because it landed, it didn't land in the boss slot. He goes to play Great Gyros again and kill himself because he knew he lost. So, well, you know, that was a pretty convincing match. 
moving on. All right, to game number two is against Charge Shot X. Apparently so, X. Apparently so. So here we go. In this game, I've drew into. I've got Rebirth, I've got Possessing Mouse, which I use in this game. Two Tyrants and a Devil Shirt. Makoto's first up on the field, gets a buff. I'm like thinking to myself, alright, you know what? They'll drop Mr. X just so that I can get Tyrants in the field. But I take a damage. I'm not too fussed about the card in the middle, it's not a big deal to me right now. I'm more concerned about the Makoto getting um, the benefits, so I just want to make sure that Mr. X dies and that I get. Um, super tired. So now he drops Kyron up top, so that's a bit of a problem. I do have Devil Joe in my hand, so we're gonna go and drop that at the top. Get rid of Kyron immediately, and... He gives a buff to Makoto. Plus 5 HP, so... I let that go. I thought I was gonna get rid of it, but I'm like, alright, I'll let that go for now. Then he goes going to use Makoto's ability, uh, use the card ability to destroy my card. So I'm like, okay. So in this situation, I actually use Possessing Mouse. I'll take six damage for it, but I reset him back to two eight. So he's still alive to deal some damage to um, Makoto. So nullifying out that card's ability. Now I get rid of Makoto just like that. Now I've retained board control. I've got two destruction cards in my hands. Another Mr. X. He drops something to destroy my card, which I really didn't pay attention to. Rebirth is in my hand. Um, I actually have nothing in the graveyard that I want to bring back. I don't have. I was waiting for Full Spurn to get a Devil's Rose that I can Ouroboros. So I don't. So I'm sort of just waiting on that factor. But I have drawn into three destructive cards right now. And the Living End. The Living End is in my hand, but I don't even use it. So I'm just maintaining some board control. I realize I've got some control here. I've got destructions in case he drops something big. Which is what he does. There's a Christopher. And now I've drawn into False Throne by obliterating that card. So we obliterate his Chris, get rid of it. And now I've finally drawn into False Throne. But um, Devil Joe's in my graveyard now, so it's good. So he goes to flood the field. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll False Throne. Making sure the devil, two Devil Joes are in that graveyard. <clears throat> because now I'm like, alright, so now he's going to buff these cards. Let's do it. Activate Rebirth. And we'll activate Ulburos. So I'll have two Devil Joes on the field immediately. I figured, what the hell? Let's just make guarantee that I never draw into a Devil Joe again. So now all three exist in the graveyard. So that one monster is going to be the big one to deal with. One Devil Joe, and then I all Boros. So now I've got a full field. So I take care of the top two cards. The bottom card I can't get rid of just yet, so Super Tyrant is unable to finish the job. He does give it a little buff, but not enough that I don't have to worry about it because my zombie can take care of this card. And I still have my Devil Joes on the field. Now, I could Possessing Mouse, one Devil Joe takes some damage to reset the middle one because it's 1-2. Uh, but in this situation, I think I, I just go for Destruction on the card. I'm not too fast. I've got board control presses. I've got stuff to deal with some answers. So I just get rid of this card immediately. And continue to inflict some damage. Puts a card up top to try to stop my Devil Joe. I mean, they're literally down to nothing. I'm one card away, but he surrenders. He surrenders. I was one card away from another Ouroboros summon. Alright, this matchup is against the Champion League. This is a pretty this was a pretty intense match against this Chun Li player. Yawn. Uh, they utilize a card called Willow and they focus on that card. So, start things off, I drew into false thrones. Perfect. Get Devil Joe's to the graveyard. Don't want them to draw all this stuff. I use one, I think I hang on to the other one. I'm like, I'm not too fast right now to activate that false throne just yet. So at least I got a Devil Joe in the graveyard for to go. So I think I drop off Mr. X. 
instantly sealed. <coughs> Makes you think the question, maybe I should have played Mr. X somewhere else, but it doesn't matter, he would have gone for the seal. So he gives Iris an ability, so Mr. X is just useless now to me because he's a 2-5 and no effect. So what in this situation do, I'm just going to destroy the Iris, just get rid of it, because um, once it starts winning, it's going to get powerful strong. Here comes the Willow card. So pay attention, Willow is the card he focuses on in this deck, and makes really good use of Willow. So I immediately destroy Iris, and I'm going to use another destruction for Willow. Gives Willow an ability, I wasn't too fussed about it, but then I forgot the fact that what a, the ability what ability Willow got, which was um, healing. So I take the two damage, I'm too fast. So yawns out the Willow, <clears throat> and now it's going to keep getting some HP. So now I'm like, uh, there's a problem. Best to get rid of this card while I, while I can. So immediately destructive instinct, so I take two damage. He drops general reploid leader in the bottom. Oh, I've already focused my target right now. We get rid of this card. He does the best move. Dream of Restoration. Gain HP. But it saves his card. And he gets a mana back because he yawned. So. Good play on his end. I'm annoyed at that. But that's what happened. So in this now. Now I'm like. Okay. The general reploid leader is a major, major threat. Luckily for me. He activates. Um, to give it ability. So that gives me opportunity to activate Rebirth. And I'm really lucky. <laughs> Rebirth landed on the bottom. I think that was a misplay. Giving it two abilities. I think he meant to give Iris the other ability. So that might have been a misplay. But either way, leader is gone. And I don't have to worry about him getting a very, very powerful card ever again. So Willow is back. Yawns out the Iris. Now I go for another rebirth. We'll get the second Devil Joe on the field. He gives Spillover and plus two Willow. So now this is where Willow becomes dangerous, in my opinion, when I upon reversing the deck. Alright, Ouroboros Mr. X back to the field. I think that was a misplay by me because I'm like, oh yeah, I have Ouroboros, but I forgot that. I only said two to the graveyard. So upon realizing Will is going to kill that, I actually decide to possessing mouse my Devil Joe, take eight damage, but otherwise I get rid of it. So he was hoping to probably give it the ability of um, taking one to three damage, but instead he only got two. So I'm able to get rid of one. Will. Get rid of his field. So now, and he brings back Willow again. So here's the concept of his deck was utilizing Willow and what Willow gives, which is spillover. So he yawns that it out, drops another iris in the bottom. At this point I'm like, okay, I understand what you're doing. I'm annoyed. I'm gonna obliterate your card. Let's get rid of the Willow, so I don't wanna deal with it. Dreams of Restoration's Willow. I'm like, god damn. Good play, but bloody hell I was annoyed. So he drops the layer up top. Sad thing is, this Mr. X is not going to be able to give me the second end Mr. X. So, that's the sad part there. Willow comes back. Spill over again. I could have obliterated... Uh, I think I went for destruction this one. I went to try again destruction. Because I'm like, okay, I'm getting annoyed. I don't want to deal with this card. I don't want to deal with the spillover. And then he seals Mr. X, and that was, just, that was the cost for that. I was like, damn it. I don't get super rare Mr. X, but never mind. Let's just get the other Devil Joe to the graveyard. Never worry about drawing him again. But I get rid of that second Willow. I hope you enjoyed that Willow card because it's going to come back. The so yawns out the Iris. We clear the field basically. And here is a Willow one more time. Even get spillover and everything. I believe I rebirth. Yes, I rebirth. He gives it more spillover, another spillover, but basically he buffs it to a point that it becomes a big threat. <coughs> Devil Joe will not survive, but it will weaken it a bit. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, I might be able to kill it. Oh, sorry, in this situation, I thought I would kill it. 
pops a shield. So I was like, damn. Okay, good play. I lose Demogor, he can't stay alive. And the spillover effect kills Mr. Rex up top. So, I activate Spreading Infection. This is the bind my time until I think of a new play. But, the problem was, I forgot about Spillover. So, my field's about to have a pretty big surprise. I have Ulboros ready to go. Right now, this uh, Willow is a big, big threat to him. So, uh, 3, 2, 1, my field just goes... Kaboom! And I'm like, oh shit, this is bad now. Drop a zombie in the bottom. Drop another zombie. I go for Ulboros, it lands in the middle. <clears throat> it's still alive at 10A. He goes to buff it, I'm like, okay, I'm willing to take 10 damage in order to kill this thing. So I go for the destruction. I'm willing to do this. And then, he does what I didn't expect. I thought, okay, I'll get rid of it. He uses a Dream Restoration one more time. So I was like, okay, you're going to do that. I'm going to give myself some HP as well. I'll get some life back too. Which was very crucial because now I've actually got a card. I've got some HP. I can take some damage and I can try to save up my mana because I'm like, oh god. It's going to come back. But it's not as OP as it was before. But nonetheless, he keeps giving it. It does always give you spillover every time you summon it. So I <laughs> have to always deal with that. I'm like, oh god. Alright, so I believe I uh, go for Mr. X in the middle. The other two cards I'm not too fast about. It's the, it's the Willow that I'm more worried about. I drop Zombie. Either way, I still lose it. Um, I drew Mr. Man Massacre, so here's the play that I actually was able to come to start moving on. So Mr. X is going to what's going to do is what I'm going to do to then get all my Ilboros ready to go. So Mr. X goes in the middle, I'm pretty sure. And then Ilboros to the field. Start trying to take control of this field. He goes to seal it again. But this time, I'm actually able to stop it. Pop Leia's shield and deal some damage to both cards. Or deal some damage to Willow. Now that all the zombies are coming back, so they can go up. So I can drop them on top. He gives this thing ability. I'm like, okay, that's fine. At least I was able to sort of turn around, bring back something to deal with the Willow in the middle. <coughs> I still have a destruction in my hand, but we wait for that. But I thought to myself, okay, I can actually finally get rid of this last Willow, and that is it. That's all the Willows he's got left. At this point, I didn't realize that he's actually out of cards. He actually has nothing left. And when he drops Rajang, I'm just like, okay. He goes to buff it. I'm like, nah. Let's get rid of it. I'm still, I still have plays, and he surrenders at that point. And I thought to myself, damn, that was a good fight. All right. Last match one, guys. This one is another um, Champion League player with the Wrathlos deck. I didn't realize this, but his Wrathlos deck is red-black. I didn't realize it until after, and I was like, oh, he's a red-black deck. So he only really had a mana cost of five. Um, so he drops Mai at the top. Mai is it? Maki, sorry. Maki. Um, so I'm just like, chill it out. And he goes for Psycho Power. Now, I've got Destructive Instinct in my hand, so I activate it. I draw into my second Destructive Instinct. So that's cool. Get rid of that card. He plays Carlos in the bottom. So at this point, I'm like, okay. I don't mind two damage until I can possibly... I'm just thinking of dropping Devilger. But then he goes and does Psycho Power one more time. I guess we're going to have a rinse and repeat right here. So Destructive Instinct it, I'll take a damage and get rid of Carlos. I'm not too worried. <laughs> Remove his threats off the field. And we're both even on 10 mana, so. Now I'm like, alright, let's get the Devil Joe to the field. Because he drops this up top. Which is called Sergius. He drops Sergius, so. Basically, again, another combo card that's got flight this time. So I thought to myself, alright, bye fine. 
He goes to buff it. I could have chosen to destroy it, but I chose not to. I'm like, I can kill this thing with Devil Joe. It's fine. Devil Joe's got rush. We can get rid of it. I take six damage because I was too slow to drop the Devil Joe, so that's unfortunate, but I get rid of it anyway. But nonetheless, I get rid of Devil Joe out of my hand. I don't want that stuff in my hand. Two obliterations and Mr. T. So Maki once again. He goes to give Maki a boost, and I decide to just destroy it. Because Devil because Wesker says you can't stand against a god. So he can't do anything about that. Takes his damage. Now I can't really use my ability because nothing is in my graveyard. The one card I played is still on the field. I drew into my other Devil Joe, which I'm annoyed at, but I thought to myself, fine, it's in my hand. He goes to play another card. <clears throat> but he can't activate his ability though. So now we're gonna deal with a 5-9 card loss. So this is pretty dangerous right now. Um <clears throat> now, oh, now Devil Joe's in my graveyard, I can all boost it. I take 10 damage, I drop Mr. X up top, nothing I can really do because he's just gonna fly over. So I summon all my Devil Joe and we just proceed from there. I think in this situation I should have summoned my other Devil Joe. So he goes for Dragon's uh, Judgment. But I decide to destroy my uh, uh, Tyrant so that I can get some HP. I need the HP. HP is important. So he just tries to destroy my card. I'm like, no, I need the HP. So at least I got some HP for that. I got Super Tyrant to the field. So Dragon Judgment actually kills Super Tyrant. So in the end, I was all to myself, damn. Oh well. But it was kind of worth it to get that um, regen. I kind of really needed it. So he goes to buff that card. I'm ready with my next obliteration. Before I can even react, he surrenders. So I'm just like, huh. He couldn't, he didn't have anything to answer for my Devil Shark. So, one that in the end just because he couldn't deal with the Devil Shark. Anyway, guys, there you are. That is my uh, Ouroboros Albert Wesker deck. I quite like it. I'm quite happy with this version of it right now. The only card that I'm still not sure about, but I still want to try it out, is the Fourth Revival, which is just the other resurrection, but I still haven't had the opportunity to use it. Living Death I know is a really good card to utilize, but again, a situation hasn't come where I need to use this card just yet. But otherwise, that's the deck, there's the QR code, let me know what you guys think, comment, let me know, did you like, what variations of this do you run, and yeah, I'll continue, listen, I've got another video uh, that I want to make on a X deck that I quite like, a friend of mine gave it to me, it's pretty fun, um, and yeah. Thank you for watching guys, and I am Dada here. Take care, and peace. Bye bye.